What's good, YouTube? Agent the Kid, and I'm lit. We back in this bit. Today, we got world's largest jello pool. Can you swim in jello? Now, that you know, what I'm saying this was very interesting to me because, um, I remember like like growing up watching like tech racks and stuff like like people like him, you know, what I'm saying like make jello and then drop something in the jello. But now, I never thought of like could a person swim in jello, so you know, what I'm saying let's get straight to it. It's first ever actual pool of jello. That's crazy. I it forgot how you made Jello. It's actually a very difficult engineering challenge to pull off. As proof, <laughs> if you Google Jello pool, you will either find bad CGI or a handful of videos of people who tried to do this, but it really didn't work out. So today, we're gonna answer. They're really just swimming in Kool Aid, to be honest. Question from my childhood: What would it be like to actually belly flop in a pool of Jello? That would be but hard. That, I want to talk about what we actually had to go through for the past six months to pull this off. Six the months. The idea of a Jello pool has been on my bucket list for over four years. Dang. In fact, when I don't even have a bucket list. Scientists and I made the 25 million Orbeez pool. Our first I gotta watch that. Was to That's do a crazy. Pool of jello, but it's really hard because if you've ever made jello, our first idea was to do a pool. They, bro, I want something like this when I get my house, bro. But having a pool is like a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Pool maintenance and that type of stuff, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's probably worth it. Pool of jello, That's hard though. But they got a really slide too. Because if you've ever made jello, you might recall you first have to boil water, then Facts. mix in the powder, and then you have to refrigerate it for it to actually get yeah. firm. And that's easy enough to do for a small dish. Maybe they live in like Antarctica. And then refrigerate an entire pool. This seemed like a know. very worthy engineering challenge. Not so up to me though, I'm not doing it. My brother and I, I came up with a plan, and then in the middle of winter, we started digging a hole in his backyard. That's what I was then thinking, like, like of two you, months, you gotta we wait. a bunch of small scale experiments because we needed to answer questions like how much gelatin powder does it actually take to get to the ideal firmness? And how hot and then cold does the mixture actually need to get for the jello chemical reaction to take place so it will actually get firm? Okay. From our experiments, we learned the jello always got firm as long as the mixture. Bro, that, I don't know. Fahrenheit. That thing so just looks we slimy. Scale this up by using six 55 gallon drums with a custom Fahrenheit. So we decided. We I don't know where they live at. My bad for pausing, but that's hard, bro. I'm trying to take a picture in front of the mountains. Right? Up Post it up on my IG. Go follow it. It's right here. A custom propane yeah. burner underneath and a spigot we welded to the sides. But more on that spigot. Later. So now we knew how. That sounds bad. Really I, should, I'm, I ain't but saying how that no more. Refrigerate an entire pool. For that, Thanks. we teamed up with Mother Nature and just picked the perfect location and time of year. We installed a thermometer and starting in January, we tracked the temperature in his backyard every night. We needed refrigerator temperatures at night, but Thanks. not freezer temperatures because that would freeze the Jello and our experiments showed that's oh all right, and right. So after i got, I got our you data got you. plus historical you know temperature plots we knew we had about a three week sweet spot window towards the end of april to pull this off end of our april to have a jello pool party in his backyard that would make even phineas and ferb jealous so the i remember they did that bro before the party and that's fill the pool with an average of 10 barrels every day that would give each layer a chance to get exposed to the cold night air to more efficiently get rid of the heat and so okay. with that first thing saturday a full week before the party we got to work. Hold on. Yeah. Bro. Where is he at? We didn't want to waste this Utah? actual food. So this is just water and gelatin powder and food color. <clears throat> but there's no sugar. Rango Cap, I'm I am not trying to eat eat no no jello after everybody swimming in. We yeah. intentionally placed our barrels much higher than the pool, so when we were ready, we could use the potential energy to move the jello from Oh, I learned about that in like pool. fifth, sixth grade. Nah, no, same. We had to tackle about a thousand other issues that came up that I won't bore you with, but day by day and layer by layer, the pool began to fill up. Because the jello went in with so much heat energy we needed to remove before it could get firm, in addition to using the cold night air, my brother's neighbor Nick happened to have a spare swamp cooler in his shop, so we kept. 
that running over the top of the pool pretty much the whole week. A swamp this gave cooler? Us convection cooling. It's the equivalent of rolling down a car window for the pool. Or okay. like when you blow on the top of a hot cup of soup. This right. constantly replaces the boundary layer of air right at the surface with fresh cold air that will suck out the heat more efficiently. Okay. And so as we put in the final batch Friday night with ominous weather threatening to ruin the whole effort, at this point we What about rain? We were exhausted after a week and I wasn't feeling super confident because my specialty is more with mechanical things and this project was more about chemistry and thermodynamics Facts. and i didn't want which that I, I dropped out of chemistry stuff. people try and pass off as jello and so even if it didn't last long in the sun i wanted to at least have the experience of seeing even a single belly flop on a smooth pool of actual jello if this was going to be a total failure it wouldn't be from lack of effort Facts. and so we will look my bad for but um how would you like get rid of the the pool like you know what i said after, after y'all finish with it you know what i'm saying like you like gotta scoop it out, cause cause what if it's not not um jelloy when when you try to get rid of it, you gotta like dump it out. You know what I'm saying? Woke up Saturday morning with a know. forecast for a warm sunny day, and we pulled off the tarp to find a pool filled with actual freaking jello. That's dope. I'll be the first person in there. Whoa, 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 whoa! What did that say? Yeah, you see that song? Not playing it. They gonna give me a copyright, baby. Some of their friends' kids could have first dibs, and so with that, I'm, I'm gonna play it if he's report, talking over it. This is what it looks like to belly flop in a pool of Jello. <laughs> why did I expect him to go into the water? That's still clean though. Wait, <laughs> Not yet. Wait, <laughs> That's my best flight impression. But can you like swoop up, bro? What the heck? Oh, my bad. See it like you know what I'm saying? He he won't even go all the way under. That's what I was trying to see. And that's me right there, just rolling. <clears throat> I wanna try this, but I'm not going through all that work, bro. And I just know that um I couldn't do it. I live in Florida. I'm a, uh, what, bro? Who, bro? Whose car is he getting in, bro? Because if that's my son, you know what I'm saying? Bro, bro, it looks like you just took a bath in a tomato. You know what I'm saying? You are not getting in my car. I, I ain't going to lie, son. son you, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to be driving. You're going to be walking on the sidewalk. That's tough. You got a bowling ball? Bro, it's hockey dance, the echo cat. Closer to the middle of the day, and one of the things we discovered was that direct sunlight over time had the effect of undoing some of the solidness of Dang. the lower layers. Yeah, so now you got your whole head. Right. When you go in, it just like feels fills your nose and like ears. It's a very ah, uh, I don't, I don't like that. Like, it's kind of hard to move. But it's just slimy and slippery. It actually feels really cool. We have some pool toys uh, hidden underneath. <laughs> can you drown in jello? No, wow. you can only drown in water. Like anything. It's, I mean, it's like swimming in snot, if that makes any sense. Bro, I, I like go cap. To keep it solid for a even good longer, snot. if we were to do it again, we might put in a heat exchanger pipe system beneath the surface, sort of like how they freeze indoor ice skating rinks. And maybe use a little sugar. Bene you nasty, nasty. You, bro, first off, you ain't put no sort sugar like in it. Second off, people was swimming in that, bro. Ice I be telling kids all the time at the pool, do not drink sugar. pool water. That is disgusting. Now, at this point, you might be thinking, why would anyone spend the effort of six months of planning and then a solid week of back-breaking effort just to make a stupid pool of jello? And to that, I say, why do people go through the effort of climbing Mount Everest? Why did Neil Armstrong I don't know. go through the effort he didn't. of stepping He's an alien. on the moon? And why did Pam and Jim go through the effort? Effort 
of convincing Dwight that Jim had always been Asian. What? This is Jim. Sometimes you don't do a thing because you should, but simply to prove that you can. Thanks. Now that my curiosity was fully satiated and in my ongoing quest to be the favorite uncle, I told my nephews they can invite some of their friends over and my brother's Wait, family. Wait, did I react to him before? Because I, I remember somebody saying he was trying to be the favorite uncle. Belly flops and bowling balls and direct sunlight. The Jello was pretty broken down, but that didn't Dang. stop us from setting up a Jello pool slip and slide. Bro. Hey, hey, hold on. Dang. Oh. That is an actual song. And because apparently none of them have ever used a slip and slide. I, I don't think I have. I got a I, I got a little slip and slide thing next week. Water slide. Water day. Alright. I do not appreciate all the copyright, you know what I'm saying? But look, WV. I think that's it. Any sugar in here, so it's kind of disgusting. So why are you? Whoa! Yeah, I, I did. Wait, I think I did react to him. I, I think he made he made the the hot um the, the the freaking sand video. You know what I'm saying? Hey, WV. Hopefully, I don't get copyrighted, even though I probably did. You know what I'm saying? But look. Hey, comment down below if y'all want me to see me do something like this because I'm not doing it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all did, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, subscribe for me, man. Agent the Kid, we out.